Here is your class of 2012. Our, our first inductee of 2012 is James C. Jimmy Lanier, a 1963 graduate of Immokalee High School and a four-year member of the boys' varsity basketball team. While playing for Immokalee, Jimmy averaged 11 points as a freshman, 18 points as a sophomore, 22 points as a junior, and 27 points per game as a senior. And that was without a three-point line that we have today. Many of the players around during that time have told me that if Jimmy had had a three-point line, he probably would have averaged something more like 50 points a game. Jimmy held the single game scoring record of 46 points, which he set in 1962. <clears throat> and it was good up until it was broken in 1987. But that was only after instituting the three-point shot. During his junior and senior year, he was a member of the all-conference team. <clears throat> Not only did he set the record he also had several other 30 and 40 point games throughout his career, which has allowed his number 11 jersey to be retired. Jimmy has gone on to work uh, with the Baron Collier Company, which he's done for many years. Congratulations to Jimmy Lanier, class of 1963. Our next inductee is Ms. Bridget Frazier Toons, a 1987 graduate of Immokalee High School. While attending IHS, Bridget was a four-year member of the varsity basketball, varsity volleyball, and varsity track teams. Not only was she part of the varsity team in several sports, she had major accomplishments in all three. Bridget was a part of several all-conference, all-county, and all-area teams throughout her career. She was named in the top 20 scholar-athletes of Collier County in 1987. She was also named who's who among high school athletes nationally in 1987. This is not all she did. In 1987, Bridget was named MVP of volleyball, basketball, and track. She also became the second female and third overall from Immokalee High School to win a state championship. Her championship came in the long jump at the 1987 state track meet with a jump of 18 feet, 11 and a half inches. She was inches away from breaking the state record at that time. To top off the year, Bridget was named 1987 Athlete of the Year. With these accomplishments, 1987 may go down as one of the greatest single years an athlete has ever had at Immokalee High School, and Bridget as one of the greatest athletes ever to attend Immokalee High School. After graduation, Bridget attended Florida Memorial College where she played volleyball and ran track. She received her degree from Nova Southeastern University and has taught in the Collier County School System since 2000. Congratulations, Miss Bridget Toon. Our next inductee is Jose Mario Canales, Jr., a 1990 graduate of Immokalee High School. While attending Immokalee, Jose was a member of the football, baseball, and wrestling team. His commitment and dedication to IHS allowed him to receive nine varsity letters. While a member of the football and wrestling team, Jose was named All-County and All-District in both his junior and senior year. He also was a member of the All-Southwest Florida team in football his senior year. Although Jose contributed to many teams, his first love was and still is baseball. As a member of the Indians baseball team, Jose led the team in every statistical category. During the 1990 season, the year he was named Athlete of the Year at IHS, he led the county, area, and state in stolen bases going 30 for 30. In, a, in bases stolen in a test. He also had a batting average of 500. This led to a two-year career at Lake City Community College. After his career in college, Jose was invited to try out for many Major League Baseball teams. After his pursuits with the Major Leagues, Jose has continued to be a part of the game by coaching and playing in adult leagues. Now, they asked me to talk about all that baseball, but I will tell you, as a long-time uh, football observer in Immokalee, I can still feel the hits from watching him out here on this field. The pain is still in Gary Bates Stadium. Congratulations, Jose Canales. Our last
last inductee is Brian Roll. Obviously, Brian could not attend at this time because of his obligation with the Philadelphia Eagles. Accepting on his behalf is his brother. A way it was going to be here. That looks like Sandra, his mother. But I'm getting old. I can't see quite that far, Sandra, so I hope that's you waving. Brian was a two-way starter for the Indians, starting both at middle linebacker and tailback. He was recruited for Division I programs at both positions and chose Ohio State partially due to their commitment to let him play the linebacker position that he loved. At IHS, he was a sophomore on the state championship team and captain of the 10-0 team his senior year. He was selected as an All-State player both his junior and senior years. He is the only two-time winner of the Naples Daily News Broxon Trophy for the area's best football player, named after last year's Mockley High School inductee, Coach Bill Broxon. In addition to football, he was an All-State wrestler and lettered in track as well. Brian went on to be a two-year starter at middle linebacker for Ohio State University. He was a team captain his senior year and led the team in tackles. He received all Big Ten honors in 2010 before being drafted in the 2011 NFL Draft by the Philadelphia Eagles, where he continues to play today. Congratulations to another one who's pain from the hits. You can still feel in Gary Bates Stadium, Mr. Brian Rowe. This concludes tonight's inductions, but please remember that this is an annual event and nominations are welcomed from the community. Our new inductees will be joining our captains for the coin toss.